Hello friends, good morning. Welcome to Astra, the daily current affairs from the Hindu. Today it is 29th of July 2023. Let's look at what are the things that we have in the current affairs quickly. Supreme Court asked the center and six other states to respond regarding to the so-called the plea on lynching. So recently there has been increasing cases of mob lynching and uh, mob vigilantism. In this context, Supreme Court has asked the center to respond. Along with this, uh, six states were asked to respond in detail. So this is something which is uh, very important from internal security perspective, GS paper 3, have a look at it, uh, very nice to read. Some more good news coming from Supreme Court, keeping literature on violence, not a terror act, says Supreme Court, grants bail to the duo. So the Supreme Court on Friday granted bail to the activist Vernon Gensleeps and Arun Ferreira accused in the Bhima Koregaon case. So after a long time, these men are getting uh, uh, the relief. So under UAPA act. So for writing the terrorist literature or literature on violence, they were arrested under UAPA. Now the government has taken uh, a very, uh, Supreme Court has taken a very uh, good move. Uh, though it was delayed, the justice was done. The case pertains to the Elgar Parishad conclave held in Pune in December 31st, 2017, which was funded by Maoists as per the Pune police. The inflammatory speeches made there led to the violence of the Bhima Korega War Memorial in Pune the next day in which one person was killed and the police has alleged like that. So in 2017 they were arrested and this pretext now Supreme Court clearly said that uh, keeping literature on violence not a terror act. Wang Yi pledges to defend sovereignty. This is coming from China. Flood fury death toll in Mulugu district climbs to 14. Uh, Godavari crosses the danger mark, so please look at uh, the tributaries of Godavari. This is very important from the perspective of international, from the perspective of geography. And uh, recently there has been increasing number of floods, how to control them. These are all that they can ask in uh, disaster management also. So here you do not have much, but that should be studied in our books. Unsafe landing of indigo flights rise. So the unsafe landing of indigo flights is uh, rising so they says that there were some deficiency in the manual operating procedure we have to see what the dgca is commenting on that not important for us so this is hyderabad page impassive over funding halts to storm water infra in most urban local bodies so incomplete work sudden mission bagiratha strategic nala development bug so this is hyderabad that people are uh, not finding the enough amount. So let's directly go to this editorial page. You do not have much important from UPSC perspective, I mean to say. Telangana in focus, destruction of rock spells doom for Deccan's flora and fauna. Next, charting the part of the 16th Finance Commission, a very good article was written by this gentleman, 16th and 16th Finance Commission. Uh, so you have to read this guys, we are going to, I am going to make a separate video on this, please watch it. So this is a must to read article today. Needless move, by allowing the ED's chief to continue, the Supreme Court has undermined its own authority because the Supreme Court has asked uh, them to dismiss, but again the Supreme Court has accepted, this is a needless uh, acceptance as per this author. A spectacle of repentance and symbolic inclusion. Uh, this is uh, speaking about the so called uh, BJP internal politics. A video clip of the upper caste functionary of the BJP indulging in indecorous behavior has been seen easing himself on a tribal man in Madhya Pradesh. So, what it is saying is, uh, in short, the article is speaking about the so called BJP, though. They say that we are inclusive, but uh, that uh, inclusion is just symbolic. Mercury is rising, climate change calls for renewed need of urgency. So the recently United Nations Security General has, uh, Antonio Guterres has said that nations has to take stringent action on the increasing or on the increasing climate change. In this context, they have given this article. So please read this article. This article is a must to read along with this article charting the path of the 16th Finance Commission. Both these articles are very important for us to read. In an armed conflict, the war on women. This is regarding to the so-called uh, issues which is going 
happening in Manipur. A very good report was given in the Ground Zero. Please again have a look at it. It will give some inputs for your essay writing ethics and it will also enlighten you what is happening in Manipur. Defeat bills on floor of the house. Prahala Joshi tells opposition. Minister responds to opposition thought that government was taking up legislative business at a time when the no conference motion was pending. Lok Sabha passes Mines and Minerals Amendment Bill. So Lok Sabha has passed the Mines and Minerals Amendment Bill. We'll look at what are the things that are there in this bill. Two health bills passed without debate in Lok Sabha. They are national nursing and midway commission bill and the national dental commission bill 2023 without any debate they have passed rajya sabha adjourned for the day after a spat between dankar and derek o Braid, the mp of madhya west bengal so india and japan is going to work on peacetime cooperation guys this is important you can have a look at this for PSAR students, that is important. Next, Modi says India can become a hub of chip manufacturing industry. Recently, Prime Minister had announced that uh, Semiconductor India Conclave. In his address to Semiconductor India Conclave, he said that India is going to be uh, a leading producer of the chip industry in the world. Need legally binding instruments to end plastic pollution. Again, this is very important article. Please read this. Land use changes putting rocky addresses of animals under stress in Sahyadri Plateau. After this, we have government allows Indian companies to list on foreign exchanges through IFSC. What is IFSC? Uh, we know that this is International Financial Services Center, where if you uh, this is a financial center where you can connect to the global markets from this center, which is present in Gujarat. Now, government has allowed the Indian companies to invest in foreign countries through this IFSC, which is present in Gift City in Gujarat. Right? This is what they are saying. U.S. annual inflation slowed in second quarter of June or in the first or second quarter of this month, this year. The reason is simple. They are increasing the inflation rates, the interest rates. Indian oil turns a Q1 net profit. Not important. You can conveniently neglect it. These are the things that we have, guys. Uh, nothing more. So, please uh, read the articles that I have highlighted in the green color. That is important for our prelims. So I am going to make short videos on that. Thanks for joining. Have a great day.